All right, we need to run because we got Coach Shad Owens on the phone. Uh, we appreciate it as always, Brian. We'll call him the gambler because he, uh, he I told, I said on the radio tonight that we're going to uh, take him to uh, Vegas if we ever go. All right, I'll do it. We'll talk to you later. Sounds good. All right, that is Brian Barrett of WGNS, and I guess I've already used the T, so it's time to get him on. Philip Shad Owens, the gambler, joins us on the phone. Uh, Coach Shad, another big win for this Blackman Blaze team. You're playing about as well right now as anybody in the mid-state, I think. Well, our kids certainly are fighting hard right now, I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, at times, we didn't play well tonight, especially on the offensive side. Brent, we did a heck of a job, I thought, defensively after the first drive. Uh, we didn't seem to get very much going after that. Uh, but uh, our defense uh, continued to fight, and our kids just found a way to make a play and uh, uh, to win a game. And, you know, that gambler thing, it's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty, I mean, you know, we went for two there at the end, but, uh, you know, earlier I, I went for it on, on fourth down on 15 down the touchdown. That was pretty stupid, I guess, but we didn't get that one. So um, I just felt like it was the right thing to do at the time at the end of the game, and, and our, kids, our kids executed and found a way to win. We're talking to head coach uh, Philip Shad Owens of Blackman as his team uh, gets the win tonight over Brentwood, 22-21. to And as Brian said, uh, the, the importance was special teams play, wasn't it? It really was. Uh, we're down 14-7 and a half. We're kicking the ball to them. We pushed one kind of over one of the kids' head, and they kind of pulled it around and gave us the ball, kicked it around, gave us the ball on the five- or six-yard line right there to start the second half. We were able to score to tie the game. But then they, they countered and come right back and found a way to score a touchdown, drove down the field, and, and got up 21-14. And it kind of stayed there uh, with them having the ball most of the half. Our, our defense continued to battle and found a way to keep them out of the end zone. They missed some field goals along the way. Um, our kids battled. and then, uh, But offensively, we didn't play very well in the second half at all and uh, couldn't get really anything going. And uh, They went to try to kick a field goal there, I don't know, with what, two minutes left, two and a half minutes left, something like that. And... Um, we blocked it. Juwan Jennings, the sophomore pre safety uh, for us. It's a great player. Going to be a great one one day. And he found a way that he blocked it in our, in our field goal block. And it's kind of like you teach it. You know, one side's on the block and the other side's the scoop and score side. And it bounced up to Mason Bear. And, and I also coached track here. And he runs track for us. And he made the end, he, he made it to the state last year in the individual 200. So I knew he could run. So I knew when he picked it up that wasn't anybody going to catch him. And, uh, and uh, he was able to, to take it in, make it 21 20. We were going to kick the ball. Honestly, we were going to kick it. Uh, uh, didn't think it. Didn't think you know, at that time. I don't think when you when you come back like that. I really don't think you go for two. Uh, you just kick the ball. We got a good kicker. But then when they got the penalty uh, for having too many men on the field, it moves it half the distance. So now on the one and a half yard line. And I didn't feel. I feel like our defense had been up there the entire night. Um, we hadn't really executed very well offensively. And I didn't. You know, I thought well, that's a great opportunity to try to win the game right here. And, uh, you know, I do have confidence in our offensive line, our tight ends, our fullback, and our tailbacks. I thought, you know, we, our motto this week was being all in, everybody doing whatever it takes to win a game. And, uh, and I can't ask them to do that if I'm not willing to do the same. So, um, so we went for it, ran a little toss sweep on the goal line, uh, blocked it well, Code Nodgrass all his way in the end, the end zone to go, for, you know, to get the two point conversion and take the lead. And then our defense found a way to keep battling. And they tried, I think, a 50 or 55 yard field goal with 20 or 30 seconds left it fell short and uh, uh, big win for our program really was uh, you know uh, coming back from three and three you know at Bradley Center when we lost that one at the end of the game after we lost the week before to Oakland at the end of the game and everybody kind of took us for dead and being done and all that kind of stuff but our kids have really persevered and fought and battled and some good things have happened to us the last couple of weeks and uh, very rewarding for these young men to continue to work even though everybody thought they were done all right and, coach uh, Shad where we are so i'm very proud of them all right good job congratulations good luck next week you got laverne i think right yeah laverne next week absolutely all right take care we'll talk to you then thank you buddy. that is philip shadow the head coach of blackman we're late for a local break for our stations on the network you're listening to friday night thunder <laughs>